Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are. It's beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Today it's charting day. It's seven amazing charts to show you a lot of information while we are drinking a cup of coffee. Hmm cool shirt i received from bybit in the bybit meetup in dubai now let's quickly jump into the charts because you don't want to mess out on these uh, again the market is like bearish bullish it's deciding but these charts show you something really cool first one the first one is of course to uh, tell you, God, I was right. <laughs> oh, that's arrogant. Now the first one is showing you the four hour chart guys. And, and yesterday we said, you know, we have been fighting that uh, red line for a long time. And I told you, I, I have the feeling something is going to happen and we are going to break out. What I thought that it would do is this yellow line up, retest and go. Now there was no retest. The only retest we saw was uh, that small retest of that logarithmic growth curve. But uh, for me, on the four hour, this was just up. So that's a really cool move from Bitcoin. Uh, we are in between these two green lines that I drew already uh, yesterday. And uh, not the, before yesterday even um, that I said, this is the area we need to go into again. Really cool on the four hour chart. Um, yes, of course, the bam bam gave a long like you can see on the new bam bam the long is down below on the chart we have the lot of green in the green dot we have the green line on top over there and bluish area and we were over here and yes of course if we turn on the uh, the and if we turn on the stepping line then we can see that we are crossing the stepping line over there and the goals of that uh, pump would have been in between the 0 0.6 and the 0 0.5 this area and that's exactly where we went so uh, yes in the bam bam indicator that would have been let's start late and get in now 3.6 percent profit without the leverage guys now on the day channel we can see that also i told you guys now what if we keep that line that upward trend line of the wigs as a support line and we get into the box again that is what we're doing and um, my target still is that green line at 41,944. that is the line i want to break i think this is very important that we break this level if you break this level um, i will get a little bit more bullish because yes you have seen my latest videos they were a little bit more bearish as i see mixed signals on the charts now if you want to trade all of this the bam bam indicator then please down below the videos use these links because you get up to eleven thousand us dollar bonus combined like that's bybit four thousand dollars that's okx five thousand dollars that's femex prime really all of these exchanges give bonuses if you want to use the bam bam indicator and all that stuff then please visit the bitcoin family.com which is this website you find products over there you will find the pro bot which gives you three to four percent a month you will find the indicator packages everything and also the free gt car which is a free indicator you just need to walk through five steps now let's quickly jump into some amazing charts that you definitely want to see that are them over here yes um for this uh, i will make my space a little bit smaller because that's not that important now now these charts show you a lot of interesting stuff guys and we are going to walk through all of them but um just pause the videos if i go too fast the first one this is the coins per user which is really cool you can see the um, amount of users the uh, unique entities let's see it like that on the left side and we can see that we start off, of course with zero there's the red line and we are ending up now above 30 million users now, the coins per users, that's the blue line that started up on the top over here, that is going downwards. So that means the user amount is increasing and the counts, uh, coins per user is decreasing, so everybody hodls less currencies. So that means to me, it's getting more decentralized, more entities that hodl less currencies. That means, you know, decentralization. Really cool chart. Now, the next one is this one. Bitcoin supply entities and addresses and profit on this chart we can see that um, the percentage of supply and profit the percentage of addresses and profit and the percentage of entities and profit is 
very close to each other at the moment. If we look to the left here, there was a huge difference. You can see the difference between the blue, orange, and red line. Here, in this bear market, there was also a huge difference. Here, in this bear market, there was a difference, but it wasn't as big as the previous ones over there. And we can see that at the moment, we are very close to each other. So, if we look to the bear lows, then at that moment, only 45 to 50% was in profit. In the 2020 uh, dip, you know, the COVID the thing, the 54 um, till 57% was in profit. So at the moment we are higher, we are around like 70 or 69% or something like this, which means if we fall with 10% to these levels of the bear market, that's the risk. If we look at this chart, then we can see the following. It's a short term holding MVRV Z score. Uh, you, all these charts I've been showing them many times before, guys. So don't be in shock. Like, oh, what is this? This chart we already shown many times before. Um, the short term holder cost base is at forty six thousand nine hundred ten US dollar, which means an average the short term holders bought bought at that price, which means a lot of short term holders are in loss. With about like 17%, if I calculate really fast, 17% and loss, 17% and loss if you look at the current Bitcoin price. So the price needs to increase with 17% before the short term holders be in profit. Now, um, that is what you can see over here. The moment we get into these uh, downward red areas, these are the moments that the short term holders are in loss. At the moment, we are currently around that blue dotted line over there. Mostly when we touch these blue dollars lines, the price is um, going up again. We can peak a little bit down below that line, which means a little bit more downward price movement. But after that, we, we uh, recover and the price will go up with um, the red decreasing all the way up to increasing to the levels of one like over here. So this is how you look at that chart. Again, pause the video if you want to uh, look deeper into it. I'm going to go quickly over it because else my videos are becoming too long, guys. Now, um, this one, I will put my face correct, please. Something over there is the long term other spend price versus the cost price. So the spend price and the cost price are something completely different. Like this, if we talk about the chart before, the short term holders, this for the long term holders is this cost based, 13,000. So the long-term holders are drastically, of course, in profit <clears throat> because they bought an average at the 13,000 US dollar line. But the price they are spending it at is at 38,000 US dollar. And that one is increasing, which means a lot of long-term holders are selling their coins. But which coins are they selling? They are selling their coins that they bought in 2021. So that is what you see in the line. The blue line is curling downwards. So that's the, um, the decline now in the long-term holder cost by uh, basis, which means the long-term holders are selling some Bitcoins. They are taking some profits. But if we look at which coins they are selling, then it, as you can see that is the coins that they bought in the last two years. So difficult to understand, I think, for most people, but um, long-term holders, they tend to hodl long term, but if they see the market going downwards, they um, will sell the coins, the dollar cost average, the latest, like uh, LIFO system, no, it's FIFO system, first in or last in, first out, <laughs> yeah, LIFO, last in, first out, something like that, they studied, they taught me in higher economic school. Now, really interesting chart. Now, um, you can feel it coming. Uh, there's a lot of mixed signals, and, and that is what we see again on this chart as well. This is a minor multiple, because those charts till now were bearish. They were like, ah, are we going down or are we going up? Where will the bottom be? Blah, blah, blah. All that stuff. You know, we are going up in the long term, but short term, uh, you know, people are freaking out. That's why um, you can see uh, that even those long term holders are selling their short term added coins to the position. Now, the Maya multiple is telling something um, really bearish, in my opinion as well, but also bullish. Look, uh, the most times we came around that green line, that was the moment the price was reversing to the upside again. But if we look back in history to the bear markets, then we can see that um, every bear market had these two moments 
of touching that green line. The first time we touch the green line, the second time, bam, we break it and we fall down below it. The first time we touch that green line, bam, the second time we break it and fall below it. That's 2018. Then we have that short thing, you know, that run to 14K, uh, also there. We touch it the first time, the second time we break it and go below it. Now, here, now this year, I'm not saying it's a bear market, but we are in a bearish trend and there is a possibility this could turn into a bear market if Bitcoin price would not reverse. Um, that... <laughs> I think Caio was going down. My nephew and niece were sleeping here. <laughs> um, um, so you can say hi, Caio. No worries. <laughs> There's Caio. <laughs> so now the, uh, the first time now we came to that green line. And now the second time, what are we going to do? Are we going to hold that green line or are we going to break that green line like every other second time? That is the excitement where we are at the moment that we experience, you know. Are we going to go down below that green line over there? And we didn't go down below the green line very often. If you look back in history, it happened there and it happened there. It happened there and shortly a little bit over there. So the Meyer multiple is telling us that um, the Bitcoin price is kind of underrated. So it should be higher, but we could fall a little bit more down before we go higher. But again, I want to make something very clear, but I will do that on the end of the video. I only have one chart left, and it is this chart over here. Um, the Bitcoin RVT ratio. What is that one showing us? Let's see if my face again is okay. Yes, that will be here. That one um, also giving that mixed signal. This one tells me, oh, we should be bullish. You know, here, if you look at these periods that the blue line is high, these are the bearish moments. You see this? The blue line is high, the bearish moments. The blue line is high, that is the bearish moment in the price. The blue line is high, this is the bearish moment in the price. The blue line was high, was even that 60 to 30k dip in the price. The blue line is high, that is again that bearish moment. But you see what the blue line is doing at the moment. It is going down. And that would be a green arrow. And every time when we see a green arrow from the blue peak to the bottom, we can see the price doing the opposite, going up. So this one is telling me, hey, this is very exciting. We are going to go up because the blue line is going down. That would be a green arrow. And that would mean that the green arrow on the top would go up. So that is what I mean. It's mixed signals. And the most important thing that I want to tell you now is this. In these periods of mixed signals, it is very important to understand that it is a buyer's market. When Bitcoin goes bearish like this, or people are shouting, this is the bear market, or people are saying, ah, oh, we could drop to 30K, and other signals are telling us now we could go up, that is a buyer's market. This is not a market to sell, because you would be selling the bottom. You must never sell bottoms. You must buy the bottom, buy the dip. And if we are in a bear market or in a starting bear market, that would be the perfect moment to start to dollar cost average into the Bitcoins. Yes, you will maybe have a loss on the Bitcoins you bought at 60K and you will maybe have a profit on the Bitcoins you bought at 20K. But if you look back in every cycle, the moment that it would be a bear market or the moment we are in a bearish trend or the moment that these indicators are giving you the sign that we are about to reverse, that is a buy market. Don't freak out. Don't freak out, but zoom out. Don't sell your coins to these big wheels. Buy these dips. That is what Bitcoin is about. Don't sell when there is a buyer market. And these dips are a buy market. Caio, do you agree? Huh? Do you agree? Yeah. Yeah. You like it and you subscribe. So, you hear what Caio said? If you did enjoy this video, guys, then please give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the video, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. Are you buying? Do you understand that it's a bearish trend, but not a fully bear market yet, because there is mixed signals on the chart that are telling us also that we could go into a prolonged bit, uh, bull market? Let me know down below, because it's very interesting times. For all the ones that are coming to Velo today, uh, I'm looking very much forward to see you all in Venlo, my hometown. It will be a very cool day. I think we have more than 200 signups, so it will be very nice. And of course, I will have some drinks and some uh, chats about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. BAM!